N4 H&H &H here uh, with the FTDX 5000 MP Limited. Um, this video is about noise reduction, uh, not digital noise reduction, noise blanker, as in that horrendous AC that you're hearing there, and if you look up here on the scope, you can see it. The power company's been out here and worked on these lines and thought they had it squared away, but just last night it started again. I've already driven around, I know which pole it is, but anyway, this gives me an opportunity to uh, illustrate the um, noise blanker on the FTDX 5000 MP. Now, you probably know this, noise blankers are notorious for either A, not working at all, or B, uh, they'll create issues with the selectivity of the radio, and then C, they make people sound distorted. So um, that was a little bit of a concern of mine getting this radio, but here's an opportunity to um, explore that. So the noise blanker button is up here in the top right. There we go, right there. Top left there on that area, NB. So I'm going to um, engage it, and you engage it by pressing the button once, and you'll see in the display, there we go. Right there, NB. Now I'm going to click it again, tap it again, and you'll see NB noise blanker width, or wide, wide noise blanker. And there's no noise blanker. Okay, I'm going to turn it back on again. Now, notice the noise is still there because there's an adjustment to make. Right here, this knob next to the VFO. Let me, let me uh, zoom that. There we go. Let me get that focused. So I'm going to turn this knob. Let's look at the S meter. Turned it to when the noise went away. You don't want to go too far past that because, again, the more you make the noise blanker work, the more apt it is to create distortion. Now, uh, some noise requires the noise blanker wide. I'm going to go ahead and engage that. You'll see NB and then W. And in the menu of the FTDX 5000, I'm going to press my menu button down here, the bottom button to the right of the VFO. And there is the blank, the noise blanker level and the width for the, for the wide noise blanker. Now, you might think, well, okay, what's it set on 10? Uh, and the blanker itself is set on, uh, oops, lost it here. There we go. So the blanker level itself is on 25. This is the master level width is on 10. Watch what happens when I go higher. You hear that noise coming in? So higher is not always better. I'm going to drop it now. It's cleanest at 5. So look at the S meter. So here we go again. Let me uh, let me now to save in the uh, FTDX 5000 to save those new menu settings. I'm going to hold, long press that menu button, and that locks it in. So again, I'm going to cycle through the noise blanker um, settings. Let me zoom out a little bit here. So there's no noise blanker. There's the short duration noise blanker. Takes care of most of it. And then there's the wide noise blanker. You see it took care of a little bit more. Again, let me cycle through that. No noise blanker. The first level of noise blanker, see my noise drop from a five to a three and I'm not hearing the pulses so much anymore. There's still a little bit of trash in there. So let's go wide. And now I noise is bouncing between a two and a three. So that's the noise blanker capabilities of the FTDX 5000 MP. And I haven't, uh, so far, haven't noticed any issues as far as how people sound. Um, in other words, what you got to know about noise blankers and what I um, have determined from working with this radio is uh, more is not always better. Don't, ar don't always turn the knobs all the way to the right, as someone uh, has once said. Okay, 73 from N4 H&H. &H.